Pre-transplant local regional therapy for hepatocellular carcinoma during bridge to transplant impacts recurrence and survival rates following liver transplantation. Maximizing the effectiveness of transarterial chemoembolization bridging treatment in this population is imperative. And the use of microvalve infusion, or MVI catheters, offers a means of improvement. This retrospective clinical study demonstrated that drug-eluting microspheres delivered through a pressure-modulating MVI catheter were associated with improved tumor response, increased deposition of microspheres within the tumor tissue, and a higher percentage of tumor necrosis at explant relative to end-hole catheters. Bridge to transplant treatment may allow patients with an initial hepatocellular carcinoma, or HCC diagnosis, to traverse the minimum wait time of six months for liver transplantation. Pressure-enabled MVI catheters allow clinicians to temporarily modulate pressure within a vessel to promote distal penetration while preventing retrograde flow to non-targeted regions. The authors hypothesized that MVI would demonstrate greater on-target microsphere deposition and increase pathological outcomes compared to end-hole catheters, therefore improving drug-eluting microsphere transarterial chemoembolization, or DEMTACE, outcomes. This retrospective single-center clinical study included 88 treatment-naive patients with solitary HCC tumors who underwent DEMTACE treatment with either MVI or end-hole catheters, as determined by operator preference. Of this cohort, 23 patients received a liver transplant. A pathologist conducted a blinded review of the liver explants to assess the extent of tumor necrosis and microsphere distribution in and around the treated tumor. Prior to transplant, pressure-enabled MVI showed consistently improved objective response compared to end-hole catheters. Post-transplant, liver explants demonstrated a significantly higher percentage of bead distribution and increased tumor necrosis in MVI-treated tumors. Blinded pathological analysis of explanted livers from MVI-treated patients showed 88.7% microsphere distribution in the tumor with a small variation of 10% between patients. This is a significant improvement compared to patients receiving therapy through an end-hole catheter, where 55.3% of the microspheres were found in the tumor, with 32% variation. This consistent delivery of therapy by MVI was associated with improved objective and pathological response. MVI-treated explants showed 89.0% tumor necrosis with reduced variability compared to 56.1% for end-hole treatment. In summary, DEMTACE procedures performed in this retrospective clinical study with pressure-modulating MVI catheters were safe and associated with improved tumor response, increased deposition of microspheres within the tumor tissue, and a higher percentage of tumor necrosis at explant relative to end-hole catheters. These favorable measures of local regional therapy may increase the likelihood of a bridge-to-transplant patient receiving liver transplantation.